One of the remarkable stories of Iowans is the story of Andrew Clemens. He was born in Dubuque, but uh, by the time he was two years old, had moved to McGregor with his family. And as a boy, he developed uh, an illness, either meningitis or encephalitis. They called it brain fever that affected his hearing and caused him to become deaf and thus affected his speech as a boy. He was about five years old when that happened. And in the area around McGregor are sandstone cliffs, uh, pictured rock, painted rock sands. As an older boy, young uh, teenager, he started experimenting with sandstone and making designs inside of glass bottles, which he would get from a local drugstore. And he could make geometric patterns, but he also could make shapes. So American eagles, sailing ships, uh, and in fact, the piece that he did for his mother is George Washington on one side, the great seal of the state of Iowa on the opposite side where you can actually read the our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. Also, uh, two American Indians at a teepee and then a steamship. It is astounding. His, his skill level was remarkable. At the State Historical Museum of Iowa, we have seven bottles of works by Andrew Clemens. And then we also have examples in our Iowa City research collections and an example at Montauk, the Governor William and Anna Larrabee home up in Claremont. As you talk about a master artist, Andrew Clemens's work is unparalleled. Uh, he did bottles in a half day or less at times where he might just be doing a simple geometric pattern and he then sold them. And that's what allowed him to make his living and he became known across Iowa. People would have bottles commissioned for uh, their sweetheart or a family friend, and the level of detail that he could reflect in sand is like nothing anyone else has been able to do. And so when you talk about overcoming adversity and stories of Iowans who use their talents, Andrew Clemens is a role model for what it means to take your skills and use them at your best. Thank you.